Hey, what's going on guys? Zace here, and today I welcome you all back to another awesome episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play series on my channel. Hope you guys all enjoy watching this video. If you do, be sure to punch that like right in the face for me, as well as answer the question of the day. Last episode, we encountered Archie and Maxie at the top of Mount Chimney. We scared them off, we obtained the meteorite from Archie, and uh, now we made it to... Loveridge Town, and today in this episode, what we're going to be doing is uh, we are hopefully going to be battling Gym Leader Flannery in the Loveridge Town's gym. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to do a quick little party summary of the Pokemon that I have in my party. So, uh, first up, we have Goldie the Gyarados at level 21 with Splash, Tackle, and Bite. Next up, we have Matang. The Matang at level 26 with Rock Tomb, Iron Head, Zen Headbutt, and Bullet Punch. Uh, next up here we have Alfred the Alakazam at level 25 with Psy Beam, Flash, Teleport, and Disable. Here we have Gabe the Swalo at level 26 with Steel Wing, Wing Attack, Aerial Ace, and Quick Attack. Next up we have Pikachu the Cosplay Pikachu at level 24 with Quick Attack, Electro Ball, Rock Smash, and Meteor Mash. And last but not least we have Gecko the Grovile at level 29 with Cut, Mega Drain, Leaf Blade, and Quick Attack. Alright, so before we actually go ahead and enter this gym, I kind of want to go to the Pokemon and see if they have any water type uh, moves for Gyarados. So let me just go ahead and ask this guy. I think he only has potions and stuff like that. Oh uh, man, okay. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab a few burn heals because I have a feeling we might get burnt in this in this gym, you know, we might get a bit uh, singed and stuff. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, is singed the right word to use here? I think so. Okay, well, anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the gym, which is uh, right over here. It's kind of a small-looking gym, but all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can battle Flannery. All right, let's go ahead and uh, talk to this guy over here first. Yo, how's it going, champ to be ace? Lava Ridge's gym leader Flannery uses fire-type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger and hotter than a volcano. Don't get too close to her or you might get burned. Hose her down with water and then go for it. Ooh la la, hose her down and then go for it. Oh yeah, I like the sound of that. Anyway, <laughs> here we go, we have dropped down and oh my goodness, I have I completely forgot how to do this puzzle. Okay, I have a feeling, no, we have to go down there, right? Yeah, we have to, we have to go down there. Wait, do we need, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on just a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can uh, walk in the water. All right, that's uh, good to know, good to go. Good to know, good to know, good to know. And I think this whole gym is like a spa or something, you know, like a... Uh, one of those... Uh, oh, my gosh, I can't remember the words for it. A uh, hot spa. Hot spa. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's the right word, but uh, it's a spa of some sort. This whole gym, that's quite exotic, I guess you could say. Uh, this guy over here is going to send out a new mole. I'm going to go for uh, Gyarados, and unfortunately, uh, we were not able to pick up any water-type moves or water-type TMs at uh, the Pokemart. So we're just going to go with uh, what we have here. We're going to go for with the Bite. And hold on, I'm actually going to search this up on uh, Cerebi real quick, or uh, Bulbapedia would actually be a better thing, actually. I think Bulbapedia. I'm going to search up Gyarados, and when does Gyarados learn... A when does Gyarados learn a water type move, if any? Gyarados. Let me just see. How do you spell Gyarados? Oh yeah, it's uh, G Y R A. All right. There we go. Goldie grew to level 22. That is absolutely fan freaking tastic. Does not learn any new moves. Uh, the opponent is gonna send out a Slugma. I'm gonna go ahead and keep battling because we do have the type advantage over this guy, but unfortunately we do not have any moves. That, uh, you know, are uh, type advantaged over it. Type advantaged over it, whatever. Whatever, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Just uh, forget about my grammar. Alright, so the first water type move that Gyarados learns is Aqua Tail, and that's at level 35. Alright, so that means we are not going to be learning <laughs> any water type moves anytime soon. Oh boy. But this is Gen 6, hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think it... Okay, fine. Oh, wait, we can... Okay, other generations. So, this is Gen 3, right? So, Gen 3, let's just see. First water type move it learns is at level 40, and that's Hydro Pump. 
right? Hopefully, hopefully Oras goes by the uh, Gen 6 moveset, and uh, hopefully we are actually going to be able to obtain Water Tail on Gyarados at level 35, because that would be a lot better to have than... Uh... Oh, what? This guy's in the water too? What the heck? That scared me. I feel like my brain is melting. Let's hurry up and battle. All right, Pip Squeak, I'll shut you down with everything I've got. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, it would definitely be better to have, uh, or it'd be really cool uh, for this, uh, this uh, for for Oras to go by the uh, Gen Six move, uh, move, uh, moves for Gyarados. There we go. Sorry, I was just uh, sort of gathering my thoughts and I kind of messed up. But yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind too much. And this is really stupid. Why are there poison type Pokemon? In a water, in a water, in a fire type gym. What is this sorcery? All right, we're just gonna go for a tackle. This is probably gonna do a bit more damage. What? Okay, I think that did about the same amount of damage at, as uh, uh, bite did. And what was that fire type move that it used? What the heck? Coughing with a fire type move. All right, not bad, not bad. I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Unfortunately, though, I'm gonna have to switch out into Matang. And this is going to be a pretty safe switch because if it does use... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't use fire-type moves. Go for sludge or whatever. Come on, use a poison-type move. Aw, oh, man, this is going to be super effective. Luckily, it doesn't do too much damage. It does uh, about a quarter. I think a little less than a quarter. I'm going to go for a Zen Headbutt, ending this coughing's life. There we go. And I do believe that's his only Pokemon, right? I didn't really... Get a uh, good glance as uh, how many Pokemon he had. Yeah, he only had one. All right, sweet. So we're going to have to heal up Goldie real quick. So let's just go ahead and uh, do that. Let's just go ahead and check out her bag. Do I have any extra antidotes? Okay. This is my last antidote. All right. Hopefully we don't run into any more of those stupid ninja type trainers. So that would be definitely awesome if we did not run into any more of them because... Seems like they all carry poison type Pokemon, and uh, that is not good whatsoever. Especially if that coughing can uh, have, you know, freaking, what's that move, uh, flamethrower. Alright, I think we can, you know what, let's battle this guy, why not? Because I was here for XP, right? Might as well try and level up Goldie somewhat. I really wish, though, that we were, that we uh, could have gotten uh, Hydro Pump, because I know Hydro Pump is a TM as well. Not too sure what number TM it is, but it would have been cool if we were able to get that. And I know it only has like a PP of like 5 or something, but it still would have been very useful. And uh, that way Gyarados would have had a lot more of an easier time leveling up in this gym as well. But I guess we'll just have to make do with what we have. And uh, Slugma has flinched due to our uh, bite. Flinch again, flinch again. Double flinch. Wow, are you serious? Flame body. Lame, but hey, at least we got that double flinch, though. That's awesome. I like it. All right, we're going to go for another bite. Booyah, right in the face. And Slugma has fainted as well. I think that's the only Pokemon this guy had, so GG. All right. I hope Flannery burns you good. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Not on my watch. All right, let's just go for a... Uh, hold on, I've got a Lava Cookie, but I did grab some Burn Heal, so we can just go ahead and use that. I only have five, though, so... You know, I don't want to use too many of them. I'm going to go ahead and battle this uh, person over here as well. I think this is going to be a uh, fighting type trainer. Yeah, so she's probably going to have some type of uh, fighting type Pokemon. Uh, Metatite, all right. That's so weird how they would, like, mix this gym up like that. Like, why would why would they do it like this? It's kind of lame. That would, I was expecting to see, like, really cool, awesome fire type Pokemon, but... Ah, uh, whatever. It is what it is. I guess we can go for a bite because dark type moves are super effective against psychic type Pokemon. So this is gonna be good. Oh, but wait. Uh, it's just gonna do neutral damage. Never mind. Because it's uh, psychic and fighting. Yeah, that's right. I think in that case we should probably just go for tackle. I think tackle should do a bit more damage. And uh, he goes for a fire punch. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. They're not fire type Pokemon, but they have fire type moves. But that's still really lame. You know what? I'm gonna have to switch out like right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go into Gabe the Swaylo real quick. Let's go ahead and do that and uh, end this Manatite to life with a uh, nice and quick aerial ace. All right, so uh, Manatite's gonna go for another fire punch. Hopefully, this doesn't burn our Gabe. 
the uh, Suela. All right, yeah, it doesn't burn Gabe, and uh, we can just go for a nice, clean aerial ace. There you go, get wrecked, kid. All right, and uh, please tell me that's the only Pokemon she has. Yeah, all right, we have defeated Battle Girl Sadie, but I believe we have to actually use another burn heal because of that stupid, stupid fire punch. Yeah, Gyarados, it's not Gyarados' good day. It is not Gyarados' day today. He just got burned twice in, like, within five minutes. I'm gonna go for another uh, couple of super potions on uh, Goldie, as well as Gabe. Alright, there you are, pals. And I think we should be good to go for, uh, uh, you know, progressing on into the gym. And, whoa, this one's actually gonna drop us down. Okay, that's interesting. Now, where exactly do we go? This is like the... Oh, my... Fudge, man. Are you serious? Another one of these trainers? I hate these trainers. I should have suspected this. I should have seen it coming. Another coughing. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and switch out. Because it would be really, really good if Gyarados had all of the XP. But I think... I think it would definitely benefit us to switch out into Matang right now. Because it's resistant to poison type attacks. As well as uh, the fact that, you know, it has a advantage over coughing. So, yeah. Hopefully it uses sludge. Yeah, it does. And we should be able to outspeed with Zen Headbutt. Yes, we do. What? Avoided the attack? My butt. That's lame. What the heck? Luckily, though, Assurance doesn't do too much damage on uh, our bulky Matang. So, we're good on that department. But, come on, man. That should have been a one-hit kill. What? What? How did that thing survive? What is this? Is that thing Eevee trained? What? Alright, we're gonna go for another Zen headbutt. There we go. Get wrecked, man. Come on. That should not have happened. That Zen headbutt should have KO'd that coughing. Whatever. That was BS. Alright, well, anyway. We are good to go. Uh, the steam stings my eyes. Well, then get out of here, twerp. This is a, a hot tub spa thingy majig. You should not be here. Alright, anyway, I'm going to go for a few potions on uh, Matang. Alright, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we actually are supposed to hop up on this one over here. This platform and uh, this sort of uh, geyser is going to allow us to uh, go all the way up top over here. And uh, I think maybe we hop up on this one. Okay, for a second there, I thought that that guy was going to battle us, but no. Alright. Oh no, what, what have I done? What have I done? I just waltzed right in front of him. You must be getting tired by now. You like to rest in a hot bath, eh? But you should know that maintaining your willpower is an important ability for all trainers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am getting tired. You should massage me, man. Actually, not you. That other uh, fighting type trainer should uh, give me a massage. You know, a rub down in this hot tub. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty uh, pretty nice. Alright, well, anyway. This uh, Numo. I think that's fire. Is that just Is that just rock? I really don't know what it's typing is. Huh. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can... I think maybe Gecko should be... Oh, no, should we not? Yeah, I don't think we should do that because... What if it has a fire-type move? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go for a uh, bite. We're just going to go for bite real quick. See how much damage that does. All right, does an okay amount of damage. Uh, let me just see. Hold on, LA. Uh, so this has a base power of 60. Tackle has a base power of 50. Okay, so Bite should be doing more damage because we do not have stab bonus on either of the two moves. So, you know, it should be the one that does a bit more damage. Numo's going to go for Overheat. That does how much damage? Not a lot at all whatsoever. All right, that's awesome. And uh, uh, in turn, that has also decreased Numo's special attack. And uh, we're going to go for another Bite, ending Numo's life. There we go. Sweet, and I think that's it, right? Goldie grew to level 23. That's awesome. Hold on. Does Goldie learn... Does, does, does Gyarados any, learn any other new moves? Or any other, like, moves in general? Hold on. Let me just see real quick. Uh, oh, it learned Rage. Actually, you know what? That's... That's good. That's good. It's not bad. Wait, is it Rage or Dragon Rage? Because... What level is Goldie right now? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Goldie is level 23, I believe, right? Yeah, 23. And in Gen 6, at level 23, it's supposed to learn Dragon Rage. Oh, yeah, I did learn Dragon Rage. All right, all right, all right. So, I wasn't mistaken. All right, sweet. So, that's actually good. I think I'm going to use another potion on Goldie just to be safe here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that right now. All right, sweet. Now, we're going to continue making our way through this gym. 
Alright, hop up onto this platform over here, and where does it take me? Alright, this is it, Flannery. Alright, hey, look at the bay, look at the bay! She's so much taller than we are, oh my gosh. She like, look at her height. Look at the height difference, what is she, like six feet tall? Oh my goodness. Alright, anyway, here we go guys, without further ado. Oh my goodness, Bay, she's looking so hot right now. Get it, guys? She's looking so hot. Yeah, the puns. Puns of damage right there. All right, anyway, here we go. Oh man, these cutscenes are too OP. I love this. Look at that, she's looking so cute. Welcome! No, wait, I mean, Puny Trainer, you've done well to make it this far. Let's see, I'm, um... Honored to be serving as a gym leader of, um, oh my gosh, I kind of forgot, let me see. No, I mean, I'm Flannery, and I'm in charge here. Oh my gosh, wait, was that right? Uh, you better not underestimate me just because I've only been leader a short time. With the skills I've inherited from my grandfather, I'm gonna, uh, demonstrate the hot moves we've honed in this land, and I'm so hot and sexy and ass everything, oh uh, yeah. Alright, well, uh, Flannery, you gotta calm down, bae, please. Because I'm already hooking up with May and Lysia, and uh, you know what? I would definitely participate in a, a bit of a threesome action going on. But anyway, uh, enough of that. She's going to send out a Sugma. I wonder what moves that Sugma has. It's probably going to have... I'm guessing it has Flamethrower. Wait, will we be able to pick up Flamethrower at this gym? Oh, no. I think it's actually going to be the, uh, the TM for Overheat. I'm just going to go for Dragon Rage. Let's see how much damage this does. I think this is actually our most damaging move. Yeah, it, it definitely is. And we're going to go for another Dragon Rage. We actually avoided Sugma's previous attack, which is awesome. So that means we are able to get rid of the Sugma without having Goldie take any damage whatsoever. So that's absolutely amazing. She's going to send out a Torkoal, and I believe this is her ace Pokemon. So let's see, her Torkoal is at level 28. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's just go for a Dragon Rage. I believe Torkoal is actually quite the bulky Pokemon, so this is not going to do too much damage. It does about 50%. Torkoal is going to go for Sunny Day, which was a big mistake on its part, because if it just went with a move of some sort, it probably would have done you know, some damage. But I believe this Dragon Rage should be able to KO Torkoal. Please tell me the KOs. Oh, yeah. All right, now I'm not too sure what Pokemon she has left, but... Anumal. Wow. It's funny how other, like, the other trainers in this gym gave us a harder time than this gym leader. But, Sunny Day is in play, so I'm not too sure how much damage uh, Anumal's Fire-type attacks are going to do. And it's going to go for Lava Plume, and it does about no damage whatsoever. Oh my gosh. This gym was so easy. Dragon Rage. Goldie pulled through. Oh my goodness. GG Goldie, not bad. I think she has no more Pokemon. That's right. We beat her. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. Yeah, you know what else you should try too hard for? Me. Love me. Give me a massage and rub down. Oh, baby. I'd love that. Anyway, I've, I've only recently become a gym leader. I guess I was trying, oh my gosh, too hard to be someone I'm not. When I don't act like myself, no wonder Pokemon that battle at my side get confused. Um, thank you for teaching me that. Oh my gosh, you deserve this. Oh, baby, I want to rub you. Okay, yeah, all right. Flannery, calm down, please. Let's, uh, take this somewhere else, if you know what I mean. And we have received the Heat Badge from Flannery. If you have a Heat Badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets Pokemon use the HM move strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. And overheat is the move that we have uh, actually obtained from Flannery, the TM-50. Overheat, not bad. Overheat is a fire-type move that inflicts serious damage on the target, but it also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. Well, yeah, of course, because, you know, the more the battle drains on, the uh, the more our special attack will be decreased. And wait, 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 were we not supposed to go that way? I, I don't think we were supposed to go out that way. Let me just go back up, and I think there might be a uh, easier way to exit out of this gym. I think if we just... Uh, Hold on, go down, like, right over here. Oh, yeah, we can just hop down these ledges. All right, uh, one over here, and there we go. Not bad, not bad at all. We have defeated Jim Leader Flannery, and she was sizzling, if you know what I mean. Oh, it seems like May wants, uh, you know, she heard that, uh, Flannery was, uh, 
was uh, giving us some uh, some action. Now she's here to give us some of her action. Oh, baby. We're getting treated left and right by these girls. Ace, wow, it's a relief to see you in one piece. Oh, well, you know, the last time I saw you was right after battling those Team What's It people. So I was a bit worried, thinking about what might have happened to you after that. Ace, what? You battled them again after that? And you beat them? You really are something else, Ace. Uh, I mean, you and your team are. I'm pretty impressed by you all. And that pretty stone that's sparkling there, is that the meteorite you got back from them? Oh, that's right. Here, here. I've been thinking of giving these to you. And we have obtained the Go Goggles. Alright, what are these going to be used for? I can't remember. Oh, this is actually going to enable us to uh, go into the sandstorm area that was... Uh, that we were, uh, you know, previously... That was previously unaccessible to us. There we go. If you put on those Go Goggles, you'll be all set heading into the desert on Route 111. Oh, and is it that... That's Lava Ridge's gym badge. So you beat Flannery too? I guess you're re I guess you really are in training your Pokemon right. Next up, we'll be challenging your dad, Norman, in Pedalburg, right? I'm heading to Pedalburg's gym next myself. Do you want to go back together, back to Pedalburg? All right, sure. Aye, aye. Then let's hit the road. So it seems like we are going to be moving back to uh, Pedalburg City next. And, uh, oh, wow, we actually, it's a cutscene right there. Wow. Well, we made it. The Pedalburg City gym. Good luck with taking on the gym leader, Ace. I'm cheering for you. Later. Alright, so it seems like May is not going to battle us, but wow. We just got taken to Pellberg Gym. That is awesome. No time has been wasted whatsoever. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I'm going to end this video off right now. I was thinking of making this like a long episode, but I would kind of prefer to go through each of the gyms in their own respective episodes. Just so that, you know... Uh, the people watching can have an, in, a more of an enjoyable time, and uh, not many people like to watch too long videos, so. Yeah, anyway, that's it for this episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play series on my channel. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, again, please punch that like button in the face for me. It means a lot to me. And as always, till next video, eat some muffins, and take it easy, guys. Peace. Bye. See ya.